Hey, what's going on you guys? Joe here and today I have another After Effects tutorial on how to make a very nice slow motion using Twixter. So um, let's get started. So what you're going to want to do is have a 59.94 or 60 frames per second or anything upwards of that uh, if you have a very nice camera. Uh, below that, if you're using a Dazzle, it probably won't look very good when you Twixter it out. So that's just a uh, warning. So uh, after that, you want to create a new composition, make sure the frame rate is 59.94 or whatever your clip that you're using is. Doesn't really matter what the time is, you can always change that. So uh, once you have that, you want to drag your clip in and find the part in the clip where you want to twixter out. So uh, I want to twixter it right after the shot, make it slow motion. And I'm sure you have all seen this in uh, Kill Cam episodes or whatever. And I'm just going to make a safe assumption that you already know what Twixter is, so I won't really go into detail on it. So, um, yeah. So, let's find the shot. There we are. So once you find the spot that you want to Twixter out, you want to go up to Effect, um, Revision Plugins. Twixter Pro. I believe Twixter Pro works better than just Twixter. And you want to change the input frame rate to whatever your clip is. In this case, it's 59.94. And uh, image prep, contrast, slash edge enhance is what I'd use. And warping, you want to use inverse with smart blend. And then drop down the main VG layer settings, change the sensitivity to 60. And under FG1 settings, change the FG1 mat to, or no, the FG mat channel to alpha, and the motion sensitivity to 60. And uh, yeah, so after that, you just want to drop down your menu effects, Twixter Pro, and come to output control, and you'll see there is the speed right there and you want to hit the keyframe button on that and uh, find the frame where you want it to start twixtering out and if you want you can move about 10 or 20 frames forward if you want it to be a very smooth twixter uh, meaning it will gr gradually go slower and gradually come out of the slow motion but um, in this case I'm just gonna make it a very quick uh, slow motion so you can change it to about two or three or four or five. Those are the only ones I use. I don't really ever go higher than five. So uh, just give my shitty computer a second to load. And as you'll see, it just slowly moves down. And already this is looking pretty nice, but an easy way to make it look a bit better, just give me a sec, my computer sucks, is um, turn on pixel motion by double clicking underneath this film reel and you can turn on motion blur and then just click on these two things right up here that enables the frame blending and um, motion blur for anything that has it selected so uh, I'll quickly render this out I don't think it'll take too long it might so we'll just give this a go and if you're wondering why I haven't been making very many videos lately it's kind of because I've been going to the gym a lot and I get home later than I used to when I used to normally make videos and I don't know I just have been really busy but now I think I'll probably start making more since I enjoy making videos I just didn't have the time to uh, before so yeah this is taking a while to render out oh sorry okay I'll just let it render out for a little bit longer that should be good so as you can see it shoots and then it completely slows down and of course my computer isn't going there you go that's that's how it looks and another thing that I want to say is when you twixter out the uh, the video the audio doesn't get twixtered so I recommend turning the sound off by clicking uh, right here, disabling the audio, 
and then you can add in your own shot you can download uh, the intervention sound or really any gun sound but again if you want to get out of the Twixer if you're just using it for a certain amount of time then you just keyframe it again and move one frame forward or you can move 10 20 frames forward if you want it to be uh, smoother and then just change the speed to 100 and that's basically all you really have to do for Twixter uh, it's a very deceiving uh, plug-in I mean some people think it's really difficult seeing as you have um, or Twixter Pro, sorry. Uh, seeing as you have all these things to deal with, but really, you're only concerned with the output control and uh, just keyframing the speed. So it's a pretty simple plugin. And again, guys, if this tutorial helped you out in any way, um, just please give it a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I put out videos as often as I can, and uh, I'm gonna try and become more active with more edits and more tutorials. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.